Hey guys, I wanted to show y'all this amazing deal that Josh found on Facebook Marketplace, right? Well, this guy had posted that he wanted to sell his unit of goods for a thousand dollars. A week pass, he lowers it to five hundred. Josh sent him a message saying, "Not trying to be funny, man, but I'm just offering my services. If no one." you know, takes a hit on it, then you can call me up and I'll come clean it out for you for free. So just providing a, a storage unit clean out service, but not charging for it, right? Well, nobody ever was interested in purchasing this stuff in the unit. So he ended up contacting Josh a few days ago and we went there and got two car loads of stuff first. Well, then we had to rent a U-Haul because we couldn't get this in the car. This is all the tile that was in the unit. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of tile. Even with the breakage, you're probably looking at four to 5000 easy, maybe even more. So, I think it's kind of funny. I put it out to the universe that I wanted a backsplash tile, right? Well... It definitely responded. This one's awesome. It's like got a pearlescent kind of finish to it. Sorry, my fingers are like wrecked. We've been unloading for four hours. This is a bullnose. Got a pretty pattern here. Another bullnose style tile. Some blue zellage tiles. This one I thought was so funky and how 3D it is. That's so cool. Then we got all kinds of, let's see, this is glass. It's hard to see, but this is seafoam green glass. This is blue. This is blue. There's an almond. This is a green, like so many beautiful colors. This is a nice tile. can be used on the floor wall. Got some that look like wood planking, marble. This one has a nice texture to it. And like, this is a whole stack. This is plenty for like a kitchen, um, a large bathroom. And then we got some like this. It's great for a shower floor. It's a porcelain. This is a great one for a backsplash, travertine. There's a few boxes of that. This is marble beautiful accent and a master bathroom this is a porcelain tile with a print that looks like slate this one it probably won't show up on camera but it's got a slight wavy texture to it i love this chevron and then there's like a random piece here and there with some extra texture to it got quite a bit of this wood plank look and porcelain as well as this gorgeous granite like wow look at the sparkle that's like a coppery color those flecks in it over here we have marble some plain ceramic tile air stone this one's a grayish tone and this is more of a brown tone here this cool scallop got quite a few boxes of that one this one is whistler ice and i love these hexagons we got quite a few of them they're great for a floor as well this one should have been back there with that other box but yeah when we're stacking we're trying to hurry over here josh is keeping this he loves that that blue it's a neat print I told him it looked kind of like fur to me more than wood. <laughs> this one's like a geode print. Unfortunately, this is the stack of pieces that got busted. And um, I'm going to keep them as scraps, give them to the people that purchased the same pattern so they can use it for offcuts or just use it for mosaic projects. So all in all amazing deal all we had to do was move it and this isn't even half of the stuff we ended up keeping like 
there's 11 rugs that were still shrink wrapped um, multiple lamps that were brand new um, new brand new furniture cabinets lots of um, storage things like a closet made just numerous things like unbelievable it took us three hours to load the u-haul <laughs> And we also loaded up both cars the other day, and that took two hours. And we're about to go return the U-Haul, and he wants us to take a bunch of blinds. I kid you not, there's probably 200 sets of blinds. So, I'll probably try to sneak that into this video as, as well to show you how many blinds we ended up with. Um, they're all brand new in the box. Um, a lot of this stuff is things that people return to Home Depot because when I was looking up the tile the majority of them came back as Home Depot products um, they may have been refused maybe one box was busted and they refused the shipment or they brought back a discontinued tile or whatever um, some of them do have broken pieces in the boxes which is also Sometimes people will just return the entire box instead of the individual piece. So that's why there's so many different patterns and stuff from Home Depot. Well, I'll um, put some photos of the unit and the cars packed down so you can see how that went. This was incredibly heavy. It took us three hours to load this U-Haul. And we got to get it back to the place, so I got to get unloading.